Today's workout was three times four miles at marathon effort with a one mile float, which meant that I got a total of 12 miles at marathon effort and a total of 18.47 miles for today in 12 degree Fahrenheit weather with quite a bit of winds making it feel a lot colder which made it a perfect time to try out the Tracksmith No Days Off collection. Now, before I give you my thoughts on these clothes and how they fare in the cold temperatures, I do wanna go over some disclosures. All the clothes I'm gonna be talking about today were items that were sent to me by Tracksmith for the purpose of review, so I didn't have to pay for them. However, nobody's paying me to make the video or to use these items, and no one's gonna get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the No Days Off collection from Tracksmith. So I have a couple of pieces that they sent to me new from this year and a couple of pieces that I already had from last year's No Days Off collection. Those pieces are similar, if not the same as last year, I believe. So I'm gonna talk about them all kind of like together so you can get a better sense of what this collection is all about. And essentially it's their winter collection for those of us who have hard winters this time of year. First, let's talk about the tights that I ran with today. These are the No Days Off tights. They are an absolutely beautiful pair of tights. And this year I'm super excited to tell you guys that they actually have pockets. Tracksmith has been for me like a brand that seems to intentionally troll us with not enough pockets but this year they're changing it up and this time we have two pockets in the back right along the waistband here that are big enough to fit an iphone in one side or gels in each side and there is a little bit of a divider so it's not one big pocket down here it's actually two pockets right uh, along the waistband behind you so that way everything's going to sit really nicely i also ran yesterday and i was able to run 10 miles easy pace with the phone in one of these back pockets and i had no problems with it for for today's run, I was able to run with a gel in each of these back pockets. The other thing that these pants also have is a zipper pocket along the side here, which is really nice. And instead of going forward in towards the front of the thigh, it actually kind of cuts backwards. Um, so that way it sits more like securely on the side of your hip. For both of the days, I was able to put like my key card to my building and my house key in there, but it is also big enough to fit an iPhone 11 with a case and it would hold it snugly against the side of your thigh. So so that way it's not gonna bounce around while you're running. So you have a couple of different storage options, which I think that's the first time I've ever said that about a pair of Tracksmith pants. As far as some of the other design elements, we've got an embroidered Tracksmith logo right on the left side of the hip. And we have these reflective stripes, both a giant one on the right thigh, on the back of the left calf, you've got another reflective stripe. So that way, if you're running in the dark and there's lights that are hitting you like from a car, they're gonna be able to see you no matter which side uh, those lights are coming at you from. Now, the outer layer material is like a windproof and water repellent material. If you feel it, it doesn't quite feel like the other tights that Tracksmith makes. This feels a little bit, it's not exactly like a raincoat, but it definitely has that feeling uh, there's a water repellent qualities to it. And for the days that I ran with it, it didn't rain, but we had a significant amount of wind on both of the days. And it did snow a little bit for Sunday, the day of my long run. So I got a chance to kind of test out some of the more harsh weather conditions performance of the pants. And I think that they held up really well. And I think the best way to kind of show you how it does that is by turning the pants inside out. So if we take a look at the pants, these pants do not have a liner. Some of the Tracksmith pants are lined, which doesn't mean like liner, like there's fleece to make it extra warm. When they say liner at Tracksmith, they mean like uh, briefs that are built into the shorts or into the half tights or full tights. These are not lined, but what they do have is an extra layer of material that's sewn on the front, both on the kind of like on the front of the hips, in the crotch, and then on kind of like the top of the thighs as well. This is gonna help protect you from that wind. So on the cold days, like today, when the wind is hitting you, that outer shell plus this extra layer down here are gonna protect the most wind sensitive area. So that way you could stay warmer out there longer. Now, the other thing that these pants have are some zips, and this is looking at it from the inside out still, some zips over by the ankles to make it easier to get on. And you're definitely gonna need them because these pants are snug. Now, I have been describing these pants to people who've been asking me about them as kind of like borderline wetsuit snug. And I was like, I'm not sure if Tracksmith's gonna like that, but really they're like an effort to really get on and they do fit very, very tight. Uh, but looking at the ad copy on the Tracksmith website, they have indicated that these pants were inspired by the technology and the fit of wetsuits. So I guess 
the feeling is intentional and it's supposed to be that way. Just to give you guys uh, some reference, I'm 5'10 and I weigh anywhere between 140 and 145 pounds. I'm pretty much exactly between that right now. And the medium size that I got was a perfect fit for me. Now let's take a look at the next thing I have for this year's No Days Off collection. And that's this Merino Crew sweatshirt. Tracksmith says it's for that pre-run and post-run coziness. And they're definitely right. This sweater is so comfortable to wear. It's big, it's chunky. I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember, but I definitely remember the comfort and coziness of those oversized hoodies and sweatshirts that we wore in the late 90s. And this definitely kind of has that feel, but it's a little bit more updated and modern at the same time. Now, even though it's not intended for running, I did take it for my easy run yesterday and it definitely helped keep me warm in those very cold temperatures, about 11 or 12 degrees Fahrenheit. When the wind went through, I definitely felt it a little bit and felt a little bit chillier, but I had a long sleeve and just this sweatshirt on and I was fine for my easy run. That took me a little bit more than an hour and a half uh, yesterday. So it can definitely stand up as a cold weather piece for running, uh, but it is a little bit heavier, a little, a little bit chunkier in terms of fit and finish. And so, for anything that's like a workout, I really wouldn't recommend it. Uh, and I do think that its best use is for being super warm and cozy when you wanna warm up after that really long cold run that you had to do, like the one that I had to do today. I'm very happy to be wearing this right now. Everything about it is super comfortable and that's because it's 45% merino wool and that's where it gets all of its warmth, its comfort, its moisture wicking and like the anti-odor properties to it. It's just a fantastic piece. All the hems and seams are extra large. They're oversized for comfort. Cozy is absolutely the right word for this. And it's one of those things that you're never going to want to take off. Next, let's talk about some pieces that I've been wearing for over a year now to see how those pieces hold up over some long-term usage. First, let's take a look at the No Days Off jacket. Uh, this is the last year's jacket. And the main difference and the only difference as far as I can tell is that there is an additional reflective stripe on one of the sleeves. My jacket does not have that. But other than that, I think it's the exact same jacket. I wore this today in those cold temperatures. And it's a jacket that I've enjoyed wearing for cold weather workouts and also just to wear casually as well. Because it's one of those jackets that's a little bit heavier, but that heaviness means that it doesn't have to be just worn for running. So you're going to get but kind of like a casual use out of it and also a running use out of it as well. It's a super comfortable piece that has that same type of water repellent, wind resistant material for that outer shell. And then it has that nylon elastane in some of the gussets, in some of the areas where you might want some heat to escape from the jacket as well. So that way you can wear it and use it for those workouts without getting too damp on the inside. In terms of the pockets, there's a pocket on each side. On the right hand side, there's kind of a security zipper pocket, very similar to the ones that they have on the pants where it kind of sh shoots backwards a little bit, enough that you could put in a wallet or a set of keys or a key card. Something like that could fit in there really well. There's also a pocket right here, right along the chest that could fit a pair of sunglasses really nicely. I've tried putting my phone in there too. It does fit, but the way that that pocket is designed, it kind of like weighs the jacket down a little bit strangely. So I think that pocket up towards the chest is for a lighter items only. The other thing that I really like about this jacket is that there's gussets along the sleeves that kind of make sure that no air is going to shoot up through the sleeve of the jacket as you're running. There is a little thumb hole in here as well. So if it's one of those days where you may not need mittens or gloves, you can go with this just to cover up the hands and keep a little bit extra warm there. Like I said, I've been wearing this jacket for over a year because I reviewed this jacket last year and I'm happy to report that even after a year of lots of running, lots of wearing, lots of washings, it's still holding up really well and I feel like it's just as fresh as the day that I got it. All right, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is the long sleeve. This is the hairier long sleeve. I wore this underneath the jacket for today. So I had this long sleeve and then I had the jacket and that's all I had up top to keep me warm for today's long run. It was about two hours and 20 minutes outside today. This long sleeve is made out of merino wool, which makes it nice and warm. A little bit heavier than say like a tech tee or a tech performance long sleeve. 
in terms of cold weather performance, it's going to keep you a little bit warmer. Merino has those natural moisture wicking capabilities. Plus it also has like anti-odor properties as well. So it's not a piece that you need to wash after every single run unlike performance tees or tech tees, which pretty much after each run, you're gonna need to have to wash those because they don't take care of odors quite in the same miraculous way that Merino wool can. So this piece, I have actually washed it quite a bit, but it's one of those things where if you were to go traveling, I feel like pairing the long sleeve Harrier and the No Days Off jacket would be a great way that you can have a couple of pieces that you could wear a bunch of times uh, and keep some of your packages packing light for those travel trips. And it's actually the shirt that I wore when I interviewed Nick Willis ahead of his 20th sub four mile attempt. I think he was wearing a long sleeve Harrier too. And he was like, hey, look, we're twinsies. And I th I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he said the word twinsies uh, when he said it, although we weren't recording at the time. So I don't have video proof of that. You're just going to have to take my word for it. So those are my thoughts on the Tracksmith No Days Off collection for 2022 and kind of for 2021 as well. If you have any questions about any of these pieces, please feel free to put them in the comments down below or better yet, stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. I do it over on my Kofuzi Run Club channel. I'll put a link to that in the description. Before I go, I do want to talk about the charity runner of the week. This week it's Joshua Krask. He's going to be running the Chicago Marathon and raising money for CASA, which is his charity that works to make sure that foster kids can safely make their way through the foster care system. I've donated $100 of my money to help support this cause, and I'd love it if you'd consider making even just the minimum donation to help out a fellow runner. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs, and I will see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?